Hey, what's going on, everybody? K1 GMM. Ooh. We are testing the portable go box. Power's out at the house, so I figured what a what a great time to give this a run, running 10 watts on zombie, apocalyptic zombie. Running a little A57D. And just made a contact into Russia on 10 watts. And I'll show you what I'm using for an antenna in a little bit. So, we've got a little uh, mini PC. Pay no attention to these switches. This is for the satellite array. Um, got a little 9 inch TFT. A57's over here. And got a little Z11 Pro 2 tuner in case I need it, which I pretty much don't, but I use it just to snap things in line anyways, just to bring it totally flat. Keep the A57 nice and cool. You know what I'm talking about. Excuse the voice, I think I got a little sinus bedlam going on, so my voice is a little rough. Okay, is that confirmed? Hang on for a moment, I'm going to Reset the TX. So yeah, a little voltage regulator right there. And it is a hodgepodge of a mess. Here's a little sound card fob I'm using to pass audio in and out of the um, 857. Passes it to and from the computer in and out of the 857. Made up a little cable. It's a six pin DIN PS2 cable, I think they call it and use a little iPad port to control it. And this antenna is working a treat. So I'll be on the mountain chasing some good stuff that I can't get from down here. And kind of cool thing, I worked Hawaii this morning on 80 meters, 80 meter zombie. And I finally picked up Kazakhstan, so that was cool. Not on this, this was on the home station. <clears throat> So what have we got? We got Lebanon in there. Let's see Lebanon and the usual smooth criminals. And some bun. Nobody's coming back to me. I will change fre frequency here in a moment. Actually, I'll go ahead and put it in standby, and I'll show you the antenna. Just wait to make sure nobody comes back before I halt it. Nope. Okay. All right. So it's all built into a uh, rigid. I've got it sitting on a ladder in the garage. <laughs> oh, yeah, God, I freaking love it. Um, so I'll show you the antenna. So this is my portable quarter wave ground plane. So what I've got at the top is a pulley. It's a lightweight plastic pulley. Piece of cord goes up and around the pulley, comes back down and what that allows me to do, I have elements for 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10. And I have quarter wave radials for those bands four of them which come out which are suspended off the ground and this is basically a junction box radial stay connected to that and the driven element is right here and that goes up the pole and what I do is I use this cord uh, it's got a little hook on the end and I can just stick the driven element on without dropping this whole thing down. Just uh, put the dri an another driven element on, say I want to go to 17, and hook it into the top of this paracord and pull it up just like a main sheet, just like a main sheet on a sailboat mast. Um, low wind, 
uh, shear on this and she shouldn't go anywhere uh, I spike I spike the uh, radials in with like uh, 12 inch uh, galvanized nails I don't know if you can see that where is it yeah right here there's a nail in each one of those so that's pretty much it that's it on that and that's a light stand holding it up by the way and this is in my driveway oh. Finland so we'll make a couple more runs here and jerk around See if I can find a place to go. The pattern is full Ghost Rider. It's pretty full. Oh, well, that ain't gonna work. Would somebody call me? Just jumped to an Oscar hotel. Hmm. Can't do this with one hand. So we are back into TX. Right here, the Jenny, a little, got a little inverter Jenny. I'll show you in a moment. Love this little thing, and I got the noise settled. And I'll tell you how I did it. Oh, and by the way, I have a little, uh, it's a little MFJ power supply running on the generator. That's providing power to the go box. <coughs> uh -oh. There we go. Looks like we got maybe a Florida. Um, not a big deal. So that's the antenna. I know a zombie doesn't count. So 
Start another TX cycle. Ooh, Saudi Arabia is in there. See that in the orange? I'll tell you, friggin' antennas. <coughs> Excuse me, he's got some ears on it. Yes, sir, mister. France. Okay, just picked up France. So let me go over, I'll show you the... Um, so the extension cord comes over here. So this is a little inverter jenny. And uh, what I did was, it's a sine wave and it's in horribly noisy. So this right here is a choke I made up. And the extension cord plugs into that and uh, plugs into the generator. And I'll tell you exactly how I did it. Yeah. Turn on economy. I see people do that a lot. They jump onto somebody else right in the middle. I don't know why that is. Right in the middle of an exchange. Uh, kind of curious. So that inverter was horrifically noisy. I thought it was being radiated um, out of the power cord, which I'm sure it was, and the generator, the inverter, but it wasn't. It wasn't radiating out of the inverter. Um, what I found was that the hash and trash was coming down the AC line into the power supply and then into the radio. So what I did was I had an EMI filter, which I think I paid 10 bucks for, and it worked okay. So I took the EMI filter, I left that in line, and then I stripped back some wire, and basically created two, actually four chokes. So I put, I took two 31 mix cores, I don't know why people keep calling me that I've already worked before. That's a Delta Kilo. Uh, I just don't understand that crap. I've already worked you, dude. Leave me alone. <laughs> Anyways, so I took 231 mix cores, separate cores, and wound, I don't know how many turns, maybe six turns of the hot and cold, the ground goes to ground at the generator, which is not connected right now, but the positive and ne neutral come over here to the power supply. So I took those black and white wires, hot and neutral, and I sent them through the core six times each, t through two individual 31 mix cores, and then I came out of those and went into two 43 mix cores. And whiskey nine. Um, and uh, problem solved. Noise is gone. So if you have some cheap core sitting around, you got a little inverter Jenny that throws all kinds of hash and trash on your rig, you can fix that. Um, I think probably I went through maybe six times. Uh, and they're small cores. The cores are probably about 
uh, the inside's holes may be about that big around. So the core overall diameter is maybe that big. They're small. So here's one more thing, because this has been sitting off for, oh, several days now, the go box, after I got finished, finished with it, um, the clock was out of sync on the mini PC right there. So what I ended up doing was I tethered it to the cell phone and synced the clock, bada boom, bada bing. Now I have synced the clock manually before, and that works well. Uh, a little tricky until you can get used to it, but you can actually do a really good job with it. So this right here is for the rotator when I'm up doing uh, VHF contest work, uh, sprint, stuff like that. And we just picked up a Delta Lima. So yeah, this, thing, this thing's working okay. It's working okay. Now this is for the magnet loop. I also have a 20 and 40 meter modular magnetic loop, high power. This is the controller for that. It's all built into the box. This is how it connects. Connects to a cat cable. Cat cable here goes to the rotator, which you guys have seen on my channel, I'm sure. So everything is built into this thing. You name it. I'm going to bump the power up a little bit. Let's go to 20. This antenna should work really good up high, up about 2,200 feet. Oh, hell yeah. <coughs> well, <clears throat> I know it does already. So, hmm, can't seem to complete the exchange. Most likely I'm getting wiped out. Someone's on the same frequency maybe. Hey, we got it. Wow, he gave me a minus six, so I must have been getting wiped out. So that's okay, that's respectable. Minus six, 20 watts, hell yeah. I'll take it from down in the ditch. Uh, so the LDG, I wanted to show you something about the, whoa. I don't know if you can see it that well. Uh, the LDG, I like this LDG, this is, kind of old it's not real old it's about eh, five years old six years old now uh, what this allows me to do is force load the antenna so you know these auto tuners sometimes will be happy with like uh, 1.3 to 1 1.5 to 1 whatever what I can do is I can adjust the capacitance the inductance on this tuner and uh, you know go up and down with it until the SWR, as you see on the radio right. SWR goes flat, which you, you really, sorry about that, you really can't see it. All right, so that's it, folks. I will see you later. Hopefully my voice gets better. Or I just go ahead and fall over and croak, one or the other. I feel great, though. Yeah, she's working, 7-3. Adios, amigos. Hasta luego, hasta Luigi. Won't let the door hit me on the way out. See ya.